Alrighty, hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sam Onion here, and today we are showing off a newly redesigned nuclear missile silo. That's right, I have redesigned my missile silo yet again. Let's get into it, shall we? First we're going to do a little bit of caving though, <laughs> just kidding. This leads right into our nuclear missile silo right here. First things first, we have two airlocks, which is pretty nice, you know. Gotta be nice and safe. Beautiful. Those are absolutely beautiful. Also, we've absolutely used the heck out of the new lights in the HPM Nuclear Tech mod. Anyway, let's get down here. First things first, we have our little launch controller here, which delays our nuclear missile for launching just enough until the hatch opens. Just believe you me, you want to make sure the hatch opens before your nuclear missile launches, you know. Because if not, that could be problematic. Anyway, first things first, we're actually going to go to the fuel room. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I opened that already. <laughs> Lordy. So anyway, we have our jet fuel here. And we have our liquid oxygen, which could go through these pipes here and into the wall, which then goes into the nuclear missile launch pad. Which is pretty nice. We can go ahead and show that now. No, 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 I no, I have to <laughs> I have to wait for the door to open again. Can open this one too while we're waiting. They sound really nice. It's a shame they take so long to open. But like I guess since they're industrial grade doors, they would take a long time to open. But anyway, here's our launch pad, ladies and gentlemen. We have our pipes that go from the fuel room right into here. So now everything is ready to launch, which is pretty nice, right? But we're not going to launch anything yet. So let's show off this little area here. It's pretty nice. All right. So we're going to go ahead and close these up. Because you believe me, you want these to be closed when you launch your missile. Anyway, next thing we have here. Oh, no, it's happened again. I guess we're doing the... the uh, <laughs> We're doing the generator room now. So anyway, here's the generator room. We have our power disconnects at the front here. So if you need to service one of these industrial generators, you can. I am running these industrial generators on a Mirisium 241 RTG pellets. I felt like that would be more practical for the use case that we're going to be using them for. But longevity in a nuclear missile silo. These will be around a lot longer than the inhabitants of this nuclear missile silo. 700 years is a long time. I don't know if that's Minecraft years or real life years. I think that's Minecraft years, but how many in-game days is that? Anyway, regardless. Anyway, this is our gardening room, Brett. That's right. We have a little garden stuff going on here. We have our big fuel... Um, Feel oh lord. We got our big water tank here with infinite water, which is kind of unrealistic, but regardless. Over here we have our storage closet, so you can store all sorts of like tools and stuff. Anything you want, really. Alright, we're done with that. Now, next room. Up here we have the barracks, I guess you would call them. So the sleeping quarters. So there is eight beds in here, so you, this bunker can accommodate up to eight people. I don't know how many people was in, needed in a real nuclear missile silo, but I'm certain it's more than that. So anyway, but this is a small nuclear missile silo, so we're just gonna say that's plenty. Realistic, you probably only have that many people. Anyway, you have storage here, which is pretty nice. Very nice. All right. Oh, yeah. I think I forgot to mention the window over here. This is our viewing port of the uh, nuclear missile silo, so you can actually look at it. So you can look at the terror that you're one day going to unleash upon the world. Yeah. Pretty nice. All right. Last but not least, we have the control room. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. That is beautiful. This, you can actually see the missile, like, head-on. This is pretty nice. Unfortunately, 
Okay, uh, well, let's get to the good before we get to the bad. So, a cool thing is, I actually have buttons for this, so it actually does need to be launched by two people. The bad thing is, I'm only one person, so I'm going to have to replace one of these with the lever. But we're not going to get to the launch sequence yet. Alright, anyway, we have radars over here, which is pretty nice. So you can actually see everything. Incoming missiles, outcoming missiles. Or, I guess, ascending missiles, I guess. Which is pretty nice. We have our CRTs and stuff. I absolutely love these. I'm so glad you added them. Also, the fluorescent lights are a game changer. I love these. So, anyway, I guess it's time to launch, then. Right over here, you'd have your launch key, like your authorization code. I was just simply not going to do that because I'm only one person. But if you want to do that, that's that's totally up to you. If I remember to actually put the map in the description. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it, shall we? So, turn that one on. Let's make sure I have my thingy. Yep, we're good. Second one. It's go time. There it goes. Oh, lordy. And it, if everything works correctly, that's going to start closing. You saw that? It closed right before the blast wave hit. I swear to God, if it crashes right now. Oh, lord Jesus. I really thought it was going to crash for a second. All right. I've been having a pure problems recently, so I don't know. But anyway, you saw that? That closed perfectly right before the blast wave hit which you know is kind of sketchy that is beautiful anyway so i don't think i showed off the stuff that went into this so anyway over here we have this little box here that has the radar in it that i used for in the transmitter so go ahead and cover it yep that has gone ahead and changed itself yeah, okay, that's really rather unfortunate. Now we get to see if the base survived. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. Alright, let's see here. I think that might be it. I'm not really sure. We're going to hope it is. That's it. If that's the entrance, it's not really looking too good. Alright, let's see here. Oh my, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It has survived, like, almost perfectly. Sure, you had trouble getting in here. But the now... Oh. Oh, lordy. Let's get a Geiger counter. Let me see how spicy it is. Ah, 49 rads. Okay, but as soon as we close the doors, those, those rads dropped. 9.2. What? That's pretty good. Okay, it's 15 in here. So. That's really odd. Still 15 rads per second, you know. That's not really that good, is it? All right, let's see how our actual silo part did, though. Let me in. One point two. I kind of really depending on where you're at. All right, looks like our missile silo is doing pretty good. I completely forgot to check the launch. Like, sorry. Okay, that is actually still intact. So you could. Theoretically, launch again if you wanted to, because it's it turned some stuff into cellophane, but the necessary components are still intact, like the pipes and stuff. Okay, it is spicy in here, lordy. But look at that; it closed up perfectly. Let's see how the top area looks. Okay, like it's got a ring right around like the top but the rest of the silo is still usable which is crazy to think that is beautiful i love that and everything in here is still functional like of course it's a little spicy around here for some reason pretty interesting i do say but look at that everything worked as well as it needed to well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this video. If you guys liked it, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.